We are on Robert's main, pretty large sized quarry along the main road. It's about 75 to 100 meters wide. And you have multiple shear zones like this cutting through. Lots of calcite and quartz stringers, veins, and occasionally you find mineralization like this, patches of calcopyrite, a lot of this rock has a high concentration of epidote it looks like We're just going to poke around this quarry, see if there's anything else we can find. A couple more hunks here. You can see the malachite staining on the rock. Little bits of calcopyrite. You can see the obvious shear here. You have a interesting pinkish staining on some of this rock. But I found a sample here with some quartz in it and you have some nice malachite staining and a small little lens of massive calcopyrite. So I'm at the other side of the quarry now and there's a lot of rocks over here. Just gathered a few that have massive sulfides. Lots of deterioration on some of these. Same rocks as you see in this quarry. So we gotta find where these come from because there's some nice massive sulfides on these. So what it looks like is a lot of this here is scarn. You have calcopyrite, massive pyrite, and magnetite. It's show and tell time. We have some samples here. This is massive magnetite. There is a little bit of pyrite and calcopyrite in this. Mostly coarse pyrite, black in there is magnetite. All the darker black areas you see in the rock is all magnetic, all magnetite. 
This right here is calcopyrite, and this is a mix of pyrite and calcopyrite. We've now found about a dozen of these float boulders that have this massive mineralization. We found a couple sections in bedrock, but we haven't actually found the source of where these come from. And it may be in an area like this where it's sloughed down over top, but we found the majority of samples along here and in here. So we're going to poke around more. Few more here, more massive magnetite. So those are some of the samples. Let's keep looking. So if we dig in here, all these samples that have sloughed down from here, underneath we're finding a lot more and they're all similar to the ones that we just showed. So over there is where we found the majority of the samples, a few along here. There's actually magnetite here, and there's some magnetite and a little bit of calcopyrite and pyrite in here. There's many areas like this. These darker areas in the middle here, those are actually slightly magnetic. Same with all over here, there's various areas. This is definitely scar in here. There's lots of mineralized pieces. Right from here, just pulled out another sample. Pull the, this sample up here from up in the outcrop up there. So mineralization is all over this quarry. It's sporadic. We did find some boulders that were 60, 70 centimeters wide down in here of solid massive sulfide. So there are going to be some larger lenses all throughout here. We just haven't found anything that's been over 20 centimeters wide so far. But there's at least two dozen that we've found all over this quarry to about that point there. And then you have rock type changes. It's a little bit different over there. So the majority of the mineralization is from there all the way to the end here, down in there, and down in there. And this is what I mean by mineralization. You can see right in there on the bedrock, lots of small lenses.
scar and there's a bit of magnetite in here too. More mineralization here. Calcopyrite and pyrite. Take a look at this. Break this piece in half. It's massive. This is from a lens. So right here, there's malachite staining right there. And this is a lens where you got more mineralization. So we're gonna pull a sample from here. You can see it goes all the way up there, there's a shear. And what do we have here? That looks like massive magnetite to me. We hammered a couple big chunks off that. Take a look at this. There is calcopyrite and bornite in there. This whole area up here, massive calcopyrite and bornite. The bulk of the samples we took are from this side of the quarry here. You can see the obvious shears all over the place. The darker areas like this are where we found the most mineralization. Took 18 samples and we are good to go to the next spot. We'll see you guys in the next video.